Kyle Lawson, Mike Kluge from MLive.com here at Spartan Stadium after Michigan State's 52-26 win over Indiana. And Griff, Michigan State needed a big day from Connor Cook today given the way things were going. And statistically, they got the best one he's ever had. They did. 398 yards and four touchdown passes for Connor against Indiana. His dad played there, of course. They didn't offer him a scholarship. <laughs> so uh, they'll be glad to see the end of Connor Cook. And it was kind of when they needed the way they were able to pull away Really dominated time of possession in the second half. 20 minutes time of possession mm-hmm. and held Indiana to only five first downs in the second half. That's a really good Indiana offense at full strength for the mm-hmm. first time uh, since Indiana played Ohio State within 34-27 to 27 on October 3rd. So they, they got the real Indiana. That's a good Indiana team. Yeah, um, and, you know, this game was close than the final score indicated. But I, I think, you know, Mark Antonio talked afterwards. He said this team is learning how to win. This team has learned how to win. It's expecting to win. And, you know, they're winning close a lot, but, you know, they're, they're pulling it off consistently. And I think there's something to be said for that, that they're not tripping up at the end and that they're finishing strong. I mean, that's what these guys are pointing to. And it's probably closer than a lot of fans would like it to be, but, you know, they don't seem to be nervous if it seems to keep happening to them. No, and you're right. They weren't up till two scores until they were just under five minutes left when R.J. Shelton had the second of his uh, touchdown passes. Kyle, this bye week comes at the right time. Uh, I know you were writing a story for MLive.com on the injuries and then mm-hmm. maybe getting some guys back here pretty quick. Yeah, uh, looking like Jack Allen. Mark Antonio has pretty much confirmed Jack Allen will be back after the bye. Uh, maybe Madre London. Um, you know, maybe even like a Drake Martinez. We haven't even seen this year. So it's coming at a great time. Uh, Mark Antonio actually revealed to us they're not going to practice at all next week, which right. is unprecedented for them. They'll salute conditioning. They're going to make sure that they're in shape, but they can't risk another practice injury. They need guys back. So it's so a pretty unique thing they're doing, but I think they feel pretty good about where they're going to be when they go to Nebraska on November 7th. And it's a big game. Nebraska's a hard place to win with that consecutive sellout streak. Uh, you know, I know they lost another tough game again today against Northwestern, but a team that's played Michigan State traditionally very well and said in the preseason media days in Chicago, I was sitting right there, mm-hmm. they, they've got that game circled on the calendar, the Cornhuskers do. So uh, the road doesn't get any easier for Michigan State. Although I do think the team's going to get healthier, and I think it's going to be a big lift, Kyle. I would think that going into Nebraska, we will hear about 2012 Michigan State and some comparisons between what happened then and Nebraska, right. because they might be the best 3-5 and five team in the country right now. But we'll talk about that more later for today. It's a 52-26 win um, over Indiana here at Spartan Stadium, and uh, stick with MLive.com slash Spartans for all your coverage.